potentially do in the future or always constantly learning, which is, which is why I love the category so much. Excellent. Yeah. So. Just the other day, we were talking with um, Ed Hamilton. I think mm-hmm. he was talking about yeah. visiting Angostura in the 90s. Yeah. A wooden, a wooden still. And I'm like, what? Angostura had a wooden still? He's like, yeah. And it was leaking. Oh, and okay. they going to decommission it. I'm like, what? Like, it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm yeah. Forever. Every time I, I, hear, I, I think of that story, I'm like, man, to have a wood still from... From Trinidad. Yeah. But they're still, they're still, uh, they're still a Guyana. They still have their free wooden Exactly. I, and yeah. that, that, that's pretty basically the only person we can get wood, wood stills from. But that's right. I mean, yeah. Sometimes I feel like, like um, rum companies really should go back into their, their history books, you yeah. know, and pull out that old still, maybe try to recreate it from the patterns I mean, and the records they have. I mean, romantically, from our point of view as rum drinkers, it's amazing. But from their point of view, it's just commercially not viable. <laughs> it yeah. costs so much money. I mean, even the guys that, uh, uh, um, Demerara just says they only use those stills every now and again because it's just so expensive to run and you are you're right there's a lot of leaking and that type of mm-hmm. stuff so it's a romance romance thing I mean even at Mount Gay where I was there they've just recommissioned to uh, an old column still um, mm. again and that was leaking at certain parts they had to re, re-put in some copper and put some um, plates inside there but again they only use it twice a year um just to run it and experiment until it gets better until they add new parts to it and right. that stuff but yeah what it does is uh it's, it's nice for marketing nice for stories and it's nice for us uh, yeah. that, that rum geeky type of uh, yeah, exactly. uh people that will like to question the rums and that type of stuff and unfortunately there were about one percent of the rum drinking market um so they have to look out for the 99 percent and are drinking all the other stuff that pays for that one percent um so yeah so they are nice to talk about and nice to yeah. see um romantic old steels but yeah commercially uh um, like profitability, <laughs> yeah profitability is like a ah, we're losing money on this but uh but they're nice they're nice stories to have and nice yeah. products to nice products to actually uh have them in blends as well so yeah, yeah. yeah.